Good afternoon everybody. Ratchet David here for another video in the garage. I apologize it's a bright day. I think I am going to lower the garage door down about halfway just to make it easier to see. That should be good. Today I'm pretty excited. I'm going to be installing a racing windscreen onto my 2017 Yamaha FZ09. The one I got was off revzilla.com. It is the MRA racing windscreen and upon unboxing it it's a lot bigger than I thought it was <laughs> so um, we're gonna try it out it's supposed to be a bigger windscreen and I want a windscreen because when I'm on the highway and I get behind this thing there's nothing blocking the wind and I, I want something a little more aerodynamic on the front of this bike to push the wind over my head if I tuck on this bike so we're going to be installing that and I'll be showing you how to install it and then we're going to ride it and see if it really makes a difference and I'm able to tuck with it. So let me get some tools and we'll get started. Alright y'all, pretty simple and I'm usually not one to read instructions but for the sake of everyone else understanding this, this, this kit came with some brackets because this windscreen will not fit on the bike without brackets. So <clears throat> it's very straightforward. There's nothing complicated about this, so don't let that intimidate you that it's not just oh no extra hardware or anything. It's okay. It comes with extra hardware, it comes with brackets. And as simple as this, it is literally just saying four steps. Step one, remove the factory bolts. We're about to do that. <coughs> and these come factory on the FZ09, these four bolts here. So it makes it super simple. Once you get these four bolts off, you're going to be putting these brackets on because the problem is you got to be able to clear the little gauge cluster. It's asking me for the next step is to place these brackets on. I want to make sure I get it right. I believe it goes like this. Just like this. I believe the brackets can really go on one way because the top distance between the two bolt holes is bigger, so it's pretty difficult to mess that up at all. So, put both of these on here. Simple as that. And what I'm seeing is that it's asking for... Um, the solid side here to be facing outward and not inward and that you see that angle it makes sense this angle is the way the windshield is going to go or the windscreen whatever you want to call it i'm pretty excited i plan on doing track days as well and i i want to be able to tuck in there's a lot of drag that comes just from your body um, when you're uh, riding on this bike and my goal is to get something big enough not just one of those little aesthetically aesthetic looking windscreens I actually wanted something functional um, okay so those really have no um, room to move at all so I'm going to tighten them down for now if we have to loosen them to make sure we get the windscreen lined up we'll do that but, um, pretty positive that where these sit is where it's just going to be. Um, they really don't move at all. So, Alright. Simple as that. You got your brackets. And the last step is literally just to uh, install the windscreen. Now you got some hardware. 
got some little rubber pieces in it. Okay, these little plastic rubber pieces, whatever material they are, they're rubber. They're gonna go into these holes here, and they actually are threaded. So I, what I believe happens is when you thread these on, they actually expand and tighten. So there are four of those. You know, I tuck those in there. Just in case you didn't get like a really good look at them. There you go. Threaded into the holes at the top of the brackets. Simple as that. Okay. Now for the fun part. Just placing this right there and let's see if it really does line up all the way and it looks like it lines up perfectly right there and it looked big in the package but it looks a lot better in person once you got that there's all sorts of hardware in here i don't know what half this crap does i hate when it looks like i'm gonna have leftover unnecessary amounts of hardware <sighs> Plastic washers. <coughs> so they give you the option, it looks like a. Oh, I see, I see. They gave me more hardware for here. That makes more sense now. I was a little bit confused for a minute, but they gave you this extra hardware just in case it wasn't there, but it's already there. So I was wondering, I was like, oh, is there extra hardware? There's not extra hardware that goes into this. Alright, so they have these black bolts with these plastic washers. And the plastic washers are more important for a windscreen. Because the windscreen is not metal and you're trying not to squish it. I'm just going to go ahead and place one through. There we go. And get that started. And then I'll do one more. That way it can sit here. And now looking at this on the bike, it's not nearly as obnoxious and big as I anticipated it was going to look. I just hope that it I can actually tuck and that it'll block some of the wind coming off the highway. There's all sorts of dirt on this thing. And they give you an extra few washers just in case. You might have to kind of push the windscreen. It's a little bit flexible. You, obviously you're not going to have to go far, but just enough to to line it up with all the holes. Once you do that, it's pretty simple. Now I don't know if this is the same size. If that's gonna be a smaller X. And just as I thought, those little rubber pieces that we put in the brackets, they, uh, as you tighten them, the rubber expands and, and tightens. So, it's a unique way to do that. I don't know what at what point it starts to feel tight because of that.
They're getting pretty tight now. pretty good that seems to be in place not going anywhere all right as you can see all around the angle in which you'll be looking at it I'm liking it so far though because I think it kind of completes the front end of the bike. It, the bike looks like it's missing something without this something up there. Very quality product. Now the last thing that is uh, in this kit is a little bit of rubber lining. Now I'm not sure if I want to put this on here or not, but for the sake of the video it says slide the edge protecting strip on the screen as shown in picture four so it looks like the edge protector goes around this way i don't know if i really want the edge protector but we'll surely uh install it just for the sake of okay from what the picture shows, it should go all the way down this way. I'm not really a fan of stuff like this, but how far does it go? It says it goes to this corner right here. Let's see. This stuff is annoying anyways. Expand it out and all sorts of crap. I really don't want to deal with it. It's like a it's like a little rubber tube that's been cut. Like a slice of it has been cut. Where it has been sliced. So once you get it on there, you can't barely move it. This is why I hate this stuff. I don't I don't really see the point in it. I feel like it's gonna fly off if you're going pretty fast. Um, that's just me. I can understand why it's like, it makes it look cleaner. It does. But, you know, to me, it's just not one of those things that's super important. And I feel like it's going to come off. So, if you're one of those people that likes this kind of stuff on there, then by all means. I'm just not a fan of stuff like this. It just doesn't appeal to me. And uh, I think it's going to come off at some point if you're going fast enough. So I'm not going to install this, but it's simple. You can slide it on. It's, it's, it sounds simple, but it's really annoying, and I don't want to deal with it. So That's it for the install portion of the racing windscreen from MRA. And it's a very quality product. But we're going to go ride the bike. And see if it really lives up to the uh, what I hope it does. So, next time you see me, I'll be on the bike and we'll be seeing if this really does work. So, you can see new windscreen, and here in a second, we'll uh, test it out. A lot of drag right now. I'm gonna tuck, I'm gonna lean back and tuck a little bit.
so yeah that absolutely works I can hear the difference in the wind going over my helmet that's really cool that's absolutely and I have the GoPro on the front of my helmet so I have to like be careful not to hit my tank and up here but if I didn't have the GoPro I could talk even more but even with the GoPro I know you couldn't see because I was talking but like when I went into it like the way this is angled it went right over my head that was awesome that absolutely works that was little to no drag coming from over my head which is awesome because even when I talked before all the wind was still hitting my body and my helmet and the FZ09 is not really a, a sport bike so like you got to put some effort into tucking on this thing but you can do it but man that works great that's gonna really help on the highways with heavy winds and stuff you can really get behind that that was that was really good it looks good it kind of has a sport bike feel to it um, yeah I don't know what else to say about it really because it's pretty self-explanatory it looks good absolutely is functional and it kind of just gives it completes to me it completes that look of the front end of the FZ it's just missing a piece you know up there with nothing up there so I love it I'm happy with it and you can see through it not that I can tuck far enough down to see through it but overall great product very well built and looks great all right thanks for watching everybody like subscribe leave a comment what you think and i'll see you in the next video